This video is going to show you how to replace Volkswagen CV boot axle boot with the Volkswagen style axle with a nut on it, not a bolt. There's plenty of videos out there with the axles with the bolt. This is the axles with the nut. Yes, it's an OEM Volkswagen axle, which is shocking that it doesn't have a, a bolt, but it doesn't. I'm going to show you how to rebuild them. This one's already been rebuilt. complications or not really but kind of just an intriguing way these CV axles come apart so there's no clip uh, or visible clip that you remove like some CV axles and these axles have no bolt they have a nut instead So these axles have a nut that threads on. Most Volkswagens and Audis have a bolt. These are OEM axles. Um, all the videos I looked up had a bolt and you run the bolt in to get the end of the CV axle off so you can change the boot. Well, you don't do that. With this one, all you do is lift it up right here and we're gonna give this tap um, to get it because there's basically it's like some of the style axles on like Honda's and uh, Toyota's where you actually like smack the axle to get it to come out of the transmission it's got like that little C clip in there that holds it in so let's see if we can do this here See, it just popped. So we just went past that clip and off it comes. So now we get to look at the clip I'm talking about, which is right here. Clean this off. And there's the clip that holds it on. See, right there in that recessed area. And then you can change the rest of the CV axle also another thing that happened to me was I ordered the wrong CV boot kit I ordered the kit that comes with uh, that's for the bolt style axle so everything was literally perfect but um, was too big slightly the clip was too big the bushing was too big the washer was too big so this kit right here works for these axles that are the nut style and i have pictures and measurements of both sizes but this is the kit for the bolt or the um, nut style volkswagen axle okay i got my axle joint cleaned out good enough and I'm gonna put my clamp on my boot. I'm gonna take my new bushing and washer uh, with me. And then my clip is gonna go on. So what we'll do is we'll take this like this and we'll put this on first. Like that. Push it up on there. I'm gonna do that. Then we put the bushing and the washer. The washer goes on first with the concave facing that way. And then the bushing goes on after. And then the clip. Okay, now that I have my 
clip on and my bushing on and my concave washer facing the correct direction. See the concave goes towards the axle. I'm ready to put my CV joint back on that has the fresh grease in it and you get it, the splines lined up and you smack it on just like it came off. I'll show you that. All right, let's see if we can do this out knocking the camera off. So, we, I like to get this straight in here as possible, like that. Pull the boot back. I feel the splines line up. Take my hammer. Go on until you hear a deadening sound. You'll know it's all the way on because the sound changes. Pull this back, make sure we're fully seated with our washer and our bushing here, which we are. Also, don't forget to squirt the rest of your grease in there. And I'll just kind of show you me finishing it up. I like to try to get as much grease cleaned out from under the clamp as possible. Even though you're not going to be able to get it all. Then we slide the boot over like that. surface all clean. Take your clamp, put it straight up and down. I use the special pliers, it's worth getting a pair if you're ever going to do this more than once. Clamp it. And then I have my pliers have a little half inch drive to just give it a little bit extra clamp like that. Spin the axle 180 degrees. This clamp up at the bottom opposite with the clamp at the top so they're 180 out. Let me check my space. It's always nice to take one axle apart at a time. That way you can go back and reference the other axle. Like for where the boot goes, and stops, because this one you could have put it in multiple spots. Yeah. And we'll give it a, a little work ah, like that. And that's it. Make sure she's not going to come apart on you. There should be a little bit of movement forward and back because it's hitting that clip in there that we put in. But that's pretty much it. Once again, 
the rain bk n 0021 p works for the nut style axle on the volkswagen get you a part number this is my axles volkswagen valcon there you go let me show you the other axle part number. Belcon. Same kit works for both.